Well, good morning, boss. <laughs> How's every little killer cycle? Yo. <laughs> Ripping, huh? <laughs> well, let's see what my dear public has to say. Announcers are even bigger hands than actors. Harry, if you'll kindly glance at these few lines. Lines? Take a glance at these lines. Yeah, you took the whistle right out of my pucker. Let's, let's see what she says here. Your wonderful voice thrills me through and through. <coughs> it wafts me on magic wings to a far-off Persian garden. I am in a rose-strewn bower, and you... Oh, oh, no, I would never do any such thing. Here, here, here. Hey, this is personal. I'll take that, too. <laughs> this new station in Benton City goes on the air tomorrow. We're invited to the dedication. A hearty welcome awaits you and Mr. Von Zell. Reservations have been... Boss, listen, I can't go with you on this junket. Now, I promise to take my wife to dinner. I've got theater tickets. Ridiculous. You can do that any time. Now, go and pack. This will build goodwill for all the sponsors on the network. Well, next to the network, I've had this plan for several weeks. Hey, that's my hat. Boss, listen, I absolutely refuse to go. Oh, Harry, our first separation. Oh, sweetheart, now don't I told you. Benton City's only 200 miles away. I'll be back before you know it. Hurry up, Harry, your taxi cab's waiting. The meter's probably running. I'm not going to worry about you with the old battle act. Uh, the, your mother here to take care of you. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. I... Oh, say, dear, would you send those things to the cleaners for me, please? Bye. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, goodness gracious. Oh, mother, am I sorry. Well, you should be, you clumsy idiot. Well, uh... If I thought you did that on purpose. Oh, mother, on purpose. You know I would never intentionally hurt you. Or would I? Uh, oh, uh, coming, coming. Well, goodbye, Mother. Well, goodbye, dear. Now, you take care of yourself and Dolly. With you gone, we'll have no trouble. <laughs> Just like a man. <gasps> to Harry, with love and kisses from Ethel. Oh. I am in a rose-strewn bower, and you, 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 oh, Harry! Bobby! Love you, Ma! How's <laughs> every little thing? Oh. <laughs> I never thought this would give you a surprise. The circus is playing a benefit in town Saturday night. How's sis? Where's that new husband? I want to meet that guy. Oh, that's too bad. Harry just left here a few minutes ago for Benton City on business, he says. Okay, so we'll meet him later. Say, Ma, I want you to get a load of how they're featuring me now. See, where's a good place? Uh, well, this'll do. <laughs> Nails. You see the act? I got a new stunt, see? With my teeth, see? I take and drag a truck loaded with scrap iron clean across the arena, see? Like this. Oh, oh. oh sis. What's the matter with you? Oh, God. Look what I found in Harry's pocket. And I live just to hear your golden voice coming over my radio. If you ever come to Benton City... Benton City, isn't that where you yes. said? Uh, oh, my poor, poor child. Oh. I can't say I'm surprised. I've never trusted that man a moment since I laid eyes on him. Ooh, I can pick them snakes on sight. I wish I'd have been here. There wouldn't have been no wedding. What are we going to do? Do? 
We're going to bed in the studio right now. Get your things together. Yes, we will. Go fast, Dolly. I'm going to break you, my little bitch. I'm going to... Ooh, I'm so mad. That'll give you a rough idea. I didn't... I'm hurt, Ma. Station hits the air at 8, opening speech by the mayor, then we come on. Uh, boss, be careful of those records. We didn't bring any spares, you know. Yeah. I hope everything's okay at the station. Say, you know, I should have brought the chief engineer along to check the equipment. Engineer? You don't need him. I know all about electricity. <laughs> I wrote the book. New chapter. <laughs> Fine way to celebrate my anniversary. Stuck in this one horse town, my little buttercup 200 miles away. Splendid. We're right across the hall from him. Yeah. But how will I recognize his Von Zell Scout Ma? Easy. He'll have guilt written all over that sneaky face of his. <laughs> Come in. The idol of my dreams under the same roof with me. I rushed downstairs the minute I heard you were here. Huh? Who are you? Well, don't you know me? I'm Ethel Dunkel, remember? Your voice wafts me on magic wings to a far-off Persian garden. Oh. Oh! You're the girl in the rose-strewn bower. Oh, this is the most exciting day of my life. Yeah, well... Announce something. Uh, well, you've caught me without a transmitter. <laughs> I just knew you'd be romantic-looking. That thrilling voice. Oh. oh, my records. My records. Now oh, look what you've done. I'm so sorry, Mr. Von Zell. Von Z Oh, you're making a big mistake. I'm not Von Zell. Uh, he's the other guy. I, uh, he took a slow boat to China. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Von Zell. Inviting you aboard our dream boat for another sail up the river of romance. Where tiny shimmering jewels of moonlight sparkle like diamonds, giving promise of Cupid's spell. My dream man! No, no Ethel. Well, wait a minute. Uh, I'll get him for you. He's very temperamental. Hey, boss. She's here. Huh? Who's here? Shh. Ethel, the girl who sent that picture. Uh, Persian Garden, Rose Strewn Bower, remember? Oh, that one. Well, you're smart. You figure a way out. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Listen, boss, I'm a new bride. A broom. A bridegroom. I can't get mixed up with another woman. Now, uh, you like redheads. Listen, you, you go in there and tell her you're Von Zell. Me? Are you crazy? Shh. You're a single man, aren't you? Yeah. Now, come on, take her off my hands. She isn't bad looking. Here, come here. I'll show you. Yeah. Oops. Okay, Harry, for you, I'll do it. Oh, Mr. Von Zell. Just call me Dreamboat. He's a wool type, all right. So you're a little Ethel. Mm. My dear, your picture does you a frightful injustice. Oh. It's her. And he ain't losing any time. Such a lovely little, little hand. Harry, your voice doesn't sound anything like it does on the radio. Huh? Oh, of course not, my dear. The high frequency of the amplifier causes a tonal distortion of the nematodes. Nematodes? Oh, I have an important conference this afternoon. I must dash away. I wonder if you'd come back, say, uh, five-ish. We'll have a little supper right here, just the two of us. Oh, Harry, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Till five-ish then, dreamboat. I'll count the minutes. Oh, Harry, hmm? you're not married, are you? Me? <laughs> of course not. Don't be silly. Bye. 
Shh. What happened? I, I touched the high tension wire. I think. Golly's resting. Did you find out anything? Yeah, plenty. He's going to have dinner with Ethel in his room. Oh, that rip. No, wait not till we catch him red handed. Well, all right, but I'm going to see that Dolly divorces him and gives half of everything that he owns. She'll get it all. She'll be a widow. <clears throat> Didn't hurt, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, ma! Oh, you scratched me! That hurt! <laughs> Well, you old scoundrel, you, you've had lots of experience at this sort of thing. I can see that. <laughs> oh, I know my way around. <laughs> uh, waiter, bring the fruit cups, please. Yes, sir. Oh, she'll be here any minute. Uh, beat it, you crack my style. Well, I'm on my way. <laughs> you rascal, you. <laughs> oh, the guest of honor arrives. And my dear, you do look ravishing. <laughs> Thank you. <Entre -vous. laughs> Harry. Oh, hello, dear. Oh. Oh. No, Dolly, listen. It... Oh. Dolly, listen. Dear, please, it's not what you think. She's a... He was taking that creature in there. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh. Dolly, please, dear, listen to reason. Save your breath, you sneaking Lothario. You'll need it in court. Court? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh. Of all the thousands of letters I received, yours was the only one I treasured. Oh, Harry, do you really mean that? My life was empty until I met you, darling. Please. No other woman in the world means a thing to me. Thank your pardon. Dolly, listen, she isn't my guest. She's Mr. Whipples. Please, Dolly, give me a chance. You had all the chances you're going to get. Rock my compliments, waiter. The food so far has been wonderful. You'll get a bang out of this, too. Stop! I'm giving you a fair chance. Grab one and defend yourself. This bloke is married, and I'm his brother-in-law. Where are you? And I'm not married. Oh, you will be the boss. <laughs> You good, steady. On the beam, that's it, steady. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. Sis, I, I didn't mean it. I, I was here. Here he is. What will I do with the remains? Made a slight mistake. Forgive him. I'll get your date, old boy. Now stand still and listen to me a minute, haven't you? Ever? Come here. First you tell me you're not Harry Von Zell, and then you tell me you are. I don't know what to believe. Well, listen, Ethel, all I want you to do is come downstairs and explain to my wife. Your wife? Oh! oh. Miss Dunkel, a terrible mistake has been made. I. I. Uh... Hello and goodbye. 
Why? Mother-in-law, you're Gord Disgust, the world's strongest human. Intuition. Oh, well, wait a minute. Don't... Oh. Everything's all right now. Not quite. Oh. Pray me, you idiot. Wait a minute, boss. Now, boss, take it easy. Let me do it. Here we go again. Here, look. The boss just heard from another fan. Oh, 